everybody coming to you today with a very quick hair tutorial. I was asked uh, by one of our people that are subscribed to my channel to show everybody how I curl my hair. Now I promise this won't be like a Tory video, poor little Tory. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to just be very quick and just show you the technique so you know how to do it yourself. Um, I start starting with clean and very dry hair. Um, there's no product in my hair right now. Some people might choose to use some product, but just be careful if you do use product, um, especially if it has alcohol base in it and you leave it still damp, you may end up like Tori with your hair being broken off. Um, also, if you use your barrel curling iron too tightly, the tension from it being damp from whatever you sprayed on it, plus the pulling is what caused hers to snap. So I don't particularly, if unless I'm going out to like a wedding or something, then I might put in some gel and, and completely dry my hair, and then that way the curl lasts longer. Um, but the way I do this, um, it seems to last for a couple days. It won't be as, as strong of a tight of, as a curl tomorrow, but I'll be able to still keep waves and stuff for the next couple days. Um, and I try to only wash my hair when absolutely needed, um, when the roots get you know, like I feel like it's getting dirty um, and it's losing the bounce, then I wash my hair. So um, it could be if I'm out in the sun and I'm outside, whatever, then it's probably going to be daily if I'm out sweating or something like that. But if I'm in the house and I'm working, I mean, there's no reason um, if I'm not putting a lot of product on it to have to wash it every day because that's just going to dry your hair out. So I'm starting with the Infinity. Um, this is the Infinity uh, Pro Con Air. Um, it's kind of a teal color, and I believe this is a one and three quarter um, size barrel. So it's your typical barrel curling iron. Um, I've tried the ones that have the point that you just wrap around and do, and I just could not get the coordination up for that, and I didn't like the way the ends of the curls looked. Um, and I've got a bigger one that I've used before, but this one, like I said, kind of holds it tight. So I'm going to start with my little clip just to clip some hair back. And I'm just going to section this part off first and work on the bottom uh, part. And for time's sake, once I get a couple done, I'll probably zip through on fast forward or cut some of this and come back to you when I get to the next section. So I like to pull out and then curl up and do the curls outward. And you can loosen up the uh, little bit if you want to. Okay, so that gives it a curl like that. Now, sometimes I'll do the curl just like that and go straight to the end. A lot of people that do hair will say, um, you know, don't curl the end um, because it can cause more damage. Um, I particularly like to curl that way, or you can curl this way, which I didn't bring my brush in here. And let me look at my actual mirror here. Okay, so you can do it this way where you're halfway here and you start to curl, okay, and then you slowly let up on the bottom. You're going to start to see this piece getting shorter as I'm curling in, okay. So you just slowly release it until that way the entire hair is getting curled from top to bottom, okay. So now it's, it's a little higher up than the first one that I did. So I just kind of go around and get all the longer hairs on the bottom first. Um, I, I'm not real neat when I do it. Honestly, it's, um, you know, just whatever hairs I think need it. So this one, I'm just going to go up. I'm going to start releasing it a little bit. And then until that ends, get into the bottom of it. And then hold it. And release it. And now I have the heat setting up all the way, so I don't need to leave it on very long. And again, you don't want to do that because you're going to damage your hair. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and resection here. So and it's so hard to look in a video camera and try to curl your hair, let me tell you. Okay, so I'm going to pull this up. And then I start looking for, I've got these pieces done, getting all the straight pieces up. I'm going to kind of just twist it to the side. I, I, like I said, there's no... Uh, neatness really to this. There doesn't have to be. Um, just you want to curl back. So the other side for me could be a little more difficult because it's the other, um, you know, if you're not as coordinated on the other side of your head. So I always find that my right side looks better than my left. Again, I'm just slightly releasing 
I'm looking in my mirror over here. Okay, so you get the perfect barrel curl. A couple more. Now this is all, this part of my hair is pretty much all one length. Um, when I get to the layers, which is what I have pinned up, let me move my hair up a little bit. There we go. Um, when I get to my layers, which is a little more pinned up, then, um, you know, that becomes where I kind of swish them out to the sides. And I'm just going to keep going here until I get to the bottom. And if I don't like the way the end turned out, like this one, I just don't like the way that that came out. Um, I'll just take it back through. And again, you can always just do your standard roll it up. But all my curls go out. Okay. So I'm going to get all the straight parts done, and then I'll come back and I will show you um, how to do the, the layered part. Okay, we're back. So now I'm just going to let down all the straight hair. And you can see the bottom's all curly, so it looks really quite strange. Um, but we're going to go ahead and um, clip just one side up so I can just kind of concentrate on working the other side. So again, one side up. Got this side down. Um, starting here, usually at the back I start. And like I said, I'm not real neat on my sectioning. I just grab and go. So. Again, pull it close, pull it out a little bit, pull it out, keep it rolled backwards, pull it out, tighter in, and then let it go, okay? Um, and this usually takes maybe four or five. You could grab some up towards the top if your layers are shorter, and this will give you a little bit more height in this area. Sometimes it gets stuck and you have to kind of start over. And you got to be careful that you're not going to burn yourself. Just use this tip up here at the top um, as I'm grabbing it and going about. So, ends on that one. Okay, now the back section, I took down the side in the back section. And of course, my camera's not tall enough than my hair. But I just pull it up. Same thing, pull it all the way down. It's a little bit easier in the back for me to just kind of roll these. The one thing that happens with me in curling irons is that I find that I hit the button um, and turn it off and don't even realize I've turned it off um, until I realize my curls aren't coming out good. So just watch your hands on the buttons and make sure you're keeping it turned on. And when I do these, I throw them off the side so that I can get underneath the other straight pieces that might be hanging out there. Now most of them are going to be curled because I've worked both sides and I've worked the bottom. So again, that's why I don't have to be so neat with it. So I just do a couple in the back. And these I'm just rolling down. And again, I check to make sure my light's on. If I see a spot that looks a little flat, I'll go back to it and just bring a little more height up to that area by going closer to the root um, and leaving the end kind of hanging out. And then, like I said, you just slowly start to release that. But it'll give this curl a little more height. And I think this is honestly where my curl iron got shut off. See how that just lifted that one up there. Give me a little more height there. I'm going to do another one right here. Now we're down to touch-ups and just hitting the spots where I feel like it needs a little more curl. You can see this other side, I'm a little better on my right than on my left. Okay. Things, like I said, they're pretty straight to the side right now. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and just put a slight smooth on it. And what I do is I take it and I curl it, but I purposely, while it's hot, almost bend it to the side like this so that it cools in the right shape that I want it. If you have a curling iron, I mean, a, 
hair dryer nearby, you can blast it with cold air into the right direction and it will just kind of give it a nicer edge than it just being, since the rest of the hair is curly, um, it just gives it a little more height than it being so straight because my hair was so straight before we started. So then this side, I kind of do the same thing. It's just a quick curl under. And then since I don't want it to lay like that, I kind of turn it like this and just kind of hold it and let the heat come out of it. I'm going to tuck it in a little bit. Okay, so this is the final. Okay, and so then what I do from here is gently go through it. You can get a couple looks and then shake it out. If you shake it out, you're going to get like crazy curls. You're going to brush it out. You can see the curls here. And then, like I said, if you need to uh, touch it up, you can touch it up by throwing curls exactly where you want them. Um, I usually flip my head upside down and just kind of do the shake in the back. So let me see how I did in the back here. I'm trying to smooth some of them down. Hopefully this is coming in the camera. So you can see that they're rolled backwards and down and all the way through the back. So I'll try to turn. Okay. So and then this side. You see how the curls go backwards. Um, and like I said, if you want to specifically um, keep them a little more tight and together, you wouldn't shake them out as much. You would just kind of leave them. So that's about it. And like if I wanted to right here, kind of define this a little bit more, you can just either use your finger and just define it like that and pull it out um, or use your curling iron again and, and just give it a little bit more. So it just depends on how curly you want it, but that's as easy as it is. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial um, and that's it very simple. So have a great day. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye.